Well, here, hopefully you joined me from last episode. We are just picking up where we left off. And, uh... This does not look like it's going to be a fair fight. Sybil, you better have your A-game, buddy. Great, we leveled up just too late. Hello, I blocked your stuff. Really? No. Mm, okay. You give me some. There we go. What? What the hell was that? Nonsense. Keep hitting the wrong button, so that does not help. I'll tell you that either. Whoa. Hey, uh, how about a little bit of healing here, there, sweetheart? Come on. Oh, wait a minute. Uh. Oh, come on. I wasn't even close to that crap. Uh. God damn it. Whoa. Okay, I don't know what you're doing, Sybil, but start doing something better. That's right. I'll take a little bit of damage. Oh, come on, no way. I put my block up. Obviously, we can't block this guy's crappy crappy stuff. Well, get out of there. I knew that was coming. Put another potion on here, hopefully. Alright. And control A. Yes, let's do this one as well. No, I did not mean to do that. God bless it. How do I get the map off of there? I did not want the map on. That's not going to help me at all. Not in the middle of this fight. Not ever. What the frickity frack. Um, I think it was actually, nope, this one, nope, this one, nope, this one, okay, A, okay, so Y, and that gives us some A action and some B action, alright, get off my chick over there. Oh, come on! I, yeah, there we go. Do it again. Yeah. Oh no, bull! Shmoys. No help. Oh, get out of there, Sybil. Are you gonna get up? Control B. Oh, come on! That's not fair. You can't be doing that crap. Yes! Freaking yes! Oh, damn it. No! No, 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 no! Gah! Ah, oh, I really think I had him. That's if I could have. <sighs> yes, 
Okay. I think we got this guy. I think we do. I think we can get him. Yeah. Come on, you big ugly smuck. Your cheating little attack. I'm going to take your cheating little attack. And I'm going to smack you down with it. You and your stupid oh, lizard arm. You don't look much like a good luck charm, you ugly fuck. Oh my gosh, get off of me, you dumb. Please, get me out of here. I am a handful right now. Just let me deal with this creature and I'll be right with you. Okay. Potion time already. Jeez Louise. Alright. Which is a real good reason to stop distracting me. Seriously, come on. Come on! What is that bull? got this attack so I can't stab him in the back is basically what that thing does. Oh. Come on! Control B! What the hell? Need the mana. Ugh. Yeah, baby. Miss me again, you ugly muck. Yep, miss me again. Get out of there. Get on the rocks. That's right, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, I got your attack now, mister. Oh, you missed me three times in a row, dude. How about four? Oh, yeah. Extra attack for us. Yeah, that's right. You're going down, baby. Oh, yeah. Miss me again. Yep. Yeah. Oh, miss me again. Yep. Yeah, take that. Oh, hit me that time, but that's because I had to activate my damn spell again already. Too early that time, but... Whoa. That's right, Sybil. Get him. Yeah. Oh, I did this again. Yep. Oh, yeah. You're going down. Yep. Missed me again, bitch. Whoop. Whoop. Give me a potion just to make sure I hate to lose all this now. Whoop. Go. Oh, good thing I did. Holy shit. All right. Die, scumbag. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You got one lucky attack in the first time we fought, but you're not so lucky the second time. Not so lucky the second time. Sybil could have been a little more helpful as well, but... This is horrible. 
We can't just leave that woman in this prison. We must find a way to free her from here. Sybil, do not do that! I know this woman. She is not here by accident. She is a witch. If you free her, we all run the risk of falling under the power of her magic. But father, we can't just let this poor person die here. It would be inhuman. Inhuman? That is exactly what she is, my child. He's the wicked one. Aeolus, is it not? He's the one who imprisoned me, with no food or water, and barely clothed. I what? You lying bitch! Don't listen to her! Father? She is trying to manipulate you. Use your brain, child! I'm begging you, get me out of here! I can't hold on much longer! <sighs> well, looks like it's dilemma dilemma time. What do we think? Is she good? Is she evil? Do we help her? Do we not help her? Who are, Who you? are you? My name is Edwin. The ignorant will tell you that I'm a witch, a sorceress, or even a necromancer. The truth is much simpler and more socially acceptable. I am, in fact, a magician. But neither as powerful nor as evil-minded as they think me. She lies to thee. She is hiding something, and it is not her body. You would say that. I beg your pardon. No, nothing. Believe me, she is powerful. She is evil, and she is a danger to us all. You seem to know a lot about her. What the hell are you doing here anyway? The steward asked me to look into a dark power that has been affecting some of the villagers. Something evil. And my search has led me here. It is no coincidence. That cursed woman is the cause. I wouldn't expect him to admit to keeping a woman captive in the swamps for his own evil purposes. Nonsense. And you came and here, so with you no just here with no escort. out here no escort? What? Were you afraid we'd charge you extra? I came here as quickly as possible, yes. To stop you committing a grievous error. I was hoping that you would escort us back to the village afterwards. Without a supplement, yes. Seems to me that you are quite well paid. Well, that's it. We gotta make our decision from that and that alone. We either free her and we risk things happening. The only thing is... <sighs> Sybil's father, if you remember back back in the beginning there when that big monster, the first big monster attacked me, before it attacked me, it went to attack his daughter and he said, don't harm my daughter. And so the monster stopped attacking her and then came over after her and started attacking me. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with him, but I think there's something... That he's not telling us. But I will agree with him that mm, we will not free so I get paid for protecting you, not arguing with you. But you'll be explaining yourself to the captain. Have you lost your mind? There is no question of leaving this poor woman to die here. This war cannot be won at the price of our humanity. Stay away, you stupid girl. No, no, you fool. Don't release her. Oh. Well, we'll find out if we made the right decision here. Now meet your eternity. What are you doing to him? Let him go! Very well. You may have him. I am finished. Father? Father? Oh no, no! This can't be happening! You're gonna wish you died back in that cell, you sick bitch! Wait, wait! If I am to die, I wish to know who stands before me. Hmm... I'll be your new jailer, you're coming with me. 
I don't owe you anything. I'm the one asking the questions here. I don't need to answer you. You're the one who'd better talk, or your last meal will be your own tongue. Character. That's a change. Too bad it doesn't seem to be accompanied by a minimum of clear thinking. From what I can see, you're an imbecile, incapable of piercing the face that hides the true nature of the Red Scribes. Well, I can pierce your face, if that's all you want, in several places. Mock, if you like, lamb that you are. You insist on believing that your employers are only scholars, curious and inoffensive. Can you not see more? Red scribes, ice lords, they come from the same mold, and they want the same thing. Some are simply more successful in their efforts. Aeolus thought I possessed knowledge which he could use to become the equal of the ice lords. That's why he questioned me. That's ridiculous! You are the monster! You're a liar! My father wasn't like that! Oh, a liar! You murderer! You'll pay for what you did! Sybil, wait! Shit. Witch, I suggest you behave yourself if you don't want to find yourself back rotting in that cell of yours. I am far from finished with you. I have questions. Lots of questions. And you better make damn sure that I like the answers. So be it. Then I will tell you exactly what you want to hear, mercenary. Hmm. You had the upper hand. Why did you decide to kill the leader of the Red Scribes? I desperately needed to replenish my power, so I drained his. My mood grows a bit murderous when I get too hungry, or when I spend too many days trapped in a filthy cell without so much as a toilet. Your friend was no hero. His aim was to reproduce the same ancient rituals that permitted powerful magicians to become the Ice Lords that we are fighting even now. He was not my friend, he was my employer. And a very influential man. You could have spared him, giving credence to your version of events. But you chose to kill him, and thus any chance of them listening to you. He was a deceitful and manipulative man. No one would have listened to me, so I permitted myself the pleasure of preventing him from harming anyone else. The World Heart has had nothing but suffering from these magicians. I rejoice at this death. We need more like it. Your pleasure won't last long. I have to bring you to Valvanor where both of us are going to be in a lot of trouble. And since you took it upon yourself to kill their leader, I think you can expect that the Red Scribes are going to want you dead. Do what you must do, mercenary. I'm your prisoner and will offer no resistance. Therefore, take me to your captain. My captain? We have a contract with the Red Scribes. If you have decided you'd rather end it all, I can do it right here, right now, if you like. Cleanly. Otherwise, your best move is to tell your side of the story to the steward. If he'll even listen to you. Ah, but there is the girl. What girl? Sybil? You're dreaming. You killed her father right before her own eyes. She's never gonna take your side. On the contrary, she will tell the truth. She will confirm all that happened here. We'll see. But whatever happens, if I go down witch, I guarantee you'll go down even harder. Well, we're going to get Let's moving. I don't have enough Valdor. time in this episode to continue, to to unfortunately, us. asking your questions. But we will get to ask more later. Now, before we leave, I am certain, certain, I'm hoping, that we will report the f facts to the steward. Alright, now, is there any kind of treasure or anything in here the monster we just killed
Where do we kill him? Over here somewhere, right? I'm not seeing a lot of treasure laying around. That's not making me very happy, by the way. Oh, you know what? Let's, um... There's the mini-map. Okay. Let's see, a little up arrow. Okay. So there's like a little thing back over this way. Not much I see over there. Stick. I guess there is nothing here. <sighs> sure hope I'm not missing anywhere, but I don't see any glowy things on the ground. Let's turn a little. Now we want to climb down. We're okay there. Turn the light on a little bit, so maybe we can... Alright, so we must not get anything for beating this. Well, I'm glad we fought that guy during the day, that's for sure. Alright. I guess we're going to head to town, folks, so I will see you when we get back to town. And, uh, maybe let you know what had happened. Two leather, that's what we got for reward. Ah, uh, yeah, that's just so uncool. I think I searched just about everywhere, so. Alright. I'm going to bring this episode to a fo close, folks. Um, we'll see you later with the next episode. So, thanks for watching.